Golly, let's get this thing on the point. Let's now talk my th final thoughts. The game's awesome. I didn't get to play this game in uh in 2000. Well, let's watch the cutscene first. <laughs> We've got to find Riku and King Mickey. But uh, where do we start looking for that there door to the light? Huh? Ah. Pluto? Hey, Pluto! Where have you been? Huh? Hey! Gosh, that's the king's seal! Hey, have you seen King Mickey? Oh, yep. what? Guys, let's go! And this is where the series kicked off with this game back in 2002. I didn't get to play this. I skipped out on it and stuck with my original Xbox. That's until I got my PS3 when it was almost towards the end of the PS3 and that's the PS4. I bought the 1.5 and 2.5 final mix. Remember, Sora, you are the one who will open the doors to the light. Um, I didn't get to play the first game. I think it's going to give me a final score. I didn't get to play this game. I pretty much missed out on it when it first came out the only way I got to play this was on the 1.5 and 2.5 final mix so I played the first 1.5 and I because I remember playing a I played the game before at my cousin's house but I didn't get that far I quit after I didn't know what to do in Wonderland so I quit because I didn't know where to go I didn't know what to do and I was impatient I was those type of kids that didn't play RPGs I stuck with fighters and shooters until I played, until I got older, I played Shining Forest and all these other tactical RPGs and Mass Effect, which was the action that made me, let me try out, let me try this out again, but this time I was, then, this time I used how to do a, I used to walk through how to do a, it the first time, where to go, collect the materials, the first time I collect the materials, I didn't care for it, I just wanted to play through the story, um, but then this time I went through, like, this is my second time making the ultimate weapon. That was the fun part doing was that ultimate weapon was OP as shit. So, yeah, this is my favorite game and I can I cannot recommend you to play this. Play this. This series is good. It is long as shit, too. I remember when this came out, everyone was telling me to play it. We were waiting for to play the sequel when that was coming out, too. But man, I remember when the third one came out. It took 13 years to get that third one to come out. And my god, what a fucking wait. But if you ever want to play with this, if, you were, if you're getting a PS5 and you want to start with the series, I would definitely tell you to get to buy the all-in-one uh, bundle that came out for the PS4 to buy on the PS5. Hell, even buy it digitally if you haven't bought it. It's even on the Xbox, yes. They ported 1.5 and 2.5 on the Xbox and 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue to let Xbox players even play it because this was only a PS PlayStation exclusive until Sony broke it with the third game to make it compatible with the PS4 and Xbox One. So yes, I recommend this game to everyone. If you're not, a, if you like action RPG, yes, did the thought of Final Fantasy characters with Disney's characters? That's kind of weird. But yes, am I going to continue on with the series? Yes, I'm going to do it. But right now, I'm going to take a break because I'm going to be getting my PS5 soon. 
So I'm going to be transferring everything on my PS4 to my PS5. So right now, I'll catch you guys next time when we do my next LP, which is uh, Jack and Dexter 2. Jack 2, because that's going to be compatible with PS5. Um, Shining Force 1, and I think the third one will be... What's your third one? It's not Resident Evil. Or is it? No, that's with Kingdom Hearts and... What's the third one? Uh... What is the third one? What is it? No, it is Resident Evil. Because, uh... With Kingdom Hearts, it's Dark Souls 2 and... And, um... Spyro 2. So, yes, the next one is Resident Evil... Resident Evil 1. And then... Shining Force 1. And Jack 2. So I'll catch you guys next time when we go on my next LP. So, yeah, see ya.